Go Squad TV. So Celtics preseason is going to start soon. So I figured I'd just start covering this now to be ahead of the game here. Um, will Grant Williams get minutes in Ime Udoka's system? Now, as if we stand right now, as the Celtics stand, they have 17 roster spots filled and only 15 need to be filled for the regular season. That means we got two or three extra bodies and we're working out more guards. We just worked out um, Goodwin, who used to play for the Atlanta Hawks. He We worked him out. Celtics just worked him out. All right, so based on last year's roster, who were the weak links? The weak links were guys like Romeo Langford, Grant Williams, Carson Edwards, Trey Waters, Taco Fall. Taco's no longer with the team. Trey's no longer with the team. Carson got traded. All right. Look at the forwards we got on the team. We got Bruno Fernando. Uh, we got Hernan Gomez, who could play center and forward, and even small forward. Luke Cornett, who we just signed to a non-guaranteed deal. And we got Jabari Parker. Also, Jabari Parker, we still have on that deal from last year. All right. Grant Williams is the one of the two holdovers from that 2019 disastrous NBA draft that Danny Ainge had. All right. The other guys are pretty much gone. So this roster is completely deep. We got, you know, I don't even need to go into the roster, but I will anyway. So you got, obviously got Tatum Brown, Smart, Time Lord, Al Horford. All right. You got the core guys pretty much there, right? Then you go to that second core, which is Naismith, Pritchard, Canner, um, Fernando. You got Bruno Fernando, Hernan Gomez, um, Jabari Parker. And then you get to Grant Williams. And then you get to um, almost, to, we're almost now, the, the names that I mentioned were almost at the end that, of that list, I believe. All right. Oh, we got Josh Richardson, too. Josh Richardson as well, excuse me. He's one of my favorite players to watch. Um, shouts to Jay Rich. Um, I hope you're not wearing number 30, by the way. Please don't wear number 30. Change it to number four, man. You look better in number four. Um, no, you know, no judgments, but number 30 just looks weird, uh, especially on him. Um, and so where does Grant Williams, the reason why I'm bringing Grant up is because Grant's really like a weak link. Um, I know a lot of, some people like him, some people don't. I thought Grant Williams coming out of Tennessee was going to be a steal in the draft. We traded Thibault for him, essentially. And, man, I would love to have Batiste Thibault back. <laughs> you know, we should have kept Thibault and got rid of Grant. That said, I understand. That said, Bruno Fernando's clearly a better player than I don't care what the points per game say, care what stats say. Based on what Bruno Fernando could offer us, just based on size and energy and shot blocking alone and rebounding and uh, being still a very young player and about three, four inches taller than Grant Williams, because Grant Williams is really an undersized power forward. Grant's about 6'6", six, six, might even be 6'5". Six, He's about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Doesn't move very fast on and off the ball. Um... Brad made the mistake of trying to make him into a three-point shooter. We all know he's not a three-point shooter. He's his bread and butter is always below under the rim in that 15 footer. And being that he's been taken away from what he does best, does he become obsolete for the roster? I would have to say yes. Romeo Lankford is on is also on his last. He needs to show during this preseason. It, this is it. You know, I already seen him in summer league. He played okay, but didn't play like, you know, he didn't he didn't blow the doors off. This is it for Romeo, and this is it for Grant. Grant didn't even play in summer league, which I thought was insulting. I did a video on that months ago. It's time to show and prove. Are you guys roster guys, or are you guys dating age holdovers that need to be let go? Because I have a hard time believing that I would, be, even with Jabari Parker being a quote-unquote bust, not of his doing because the injuries fucked his career up in the beginning, I still take Jabari Parker 10 times out of 10 over Grant Williams. Even with his faulty defense, I still take him 10 times out of 10 over Grant Williams. I take Bruno Fernando 9 times out of 10 over Grant Williams. 
All right. I take um, Hunter Gomez at least seven times out of 10 over, you know, Grant Williams. It's just, there's just two. We have so much talent on our team now. And we just signed, we just re signed Luke Cornett to a non guaranteed deal. And he's a three point shooting big with shot blocking ability. He's not great, but in spurts, he, he could help spell as he stays on the roster. He spells Warford, spells Time Lord in certain ways. He could, oh, he could spread the floor. Um, he, he just does a lot of things that you wouldn't check the boxes for for a guy that can play five to ten minutes. So where does this leave Grant? Where does this leave Romeo? Gold Squad TV, leave your comments down below. Um, subscribe, leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about that, those roster spots. Is Grant Williams and Romeo Langford's days numbered as Boston Celtics? Gold Squad TV.